Now, some former employees of the Ignatius Ajari University of Education stormed the government house gate in Port Harcourt asking the River State government to pay them their nine month salaries and reinstate them. They were sacked after the government detected discrepancies in their recruitment process. During the protest, the former employees expressed grief and anger at the manner their employment was terminated without getting paid throughout the nine months they were engaged. Spokesperson of the protesters, uh, Boni Barinduma, said that apart from asking for their unpaid salaries, they are also demanding that the government reinstate them. Tell us to come and pick our various appointment letters. We have come. We came and we picked our uh, uh, appointment letters. We worked for nine months. In this period of nine months, several things happened. People in the private sector have to resign because they've gotten government jobs, jobs that is sustainable, where they can put in their best to improve the state. I know of somebody that is a friend of mine, that's a lecturer at Lagos University. His family is in Portacourt, but because of the nature of his job, he was at Lagos. The man resigned from his job that is teaching in Lagos and came to Ignatius Ajiru just for him to come and the government is cancelling his job. Leaving that man in disarray. It doesn't make sense. We have worked for this nine months. We want our job back. We want our salaries paid because it is highly not fair of the government of this state to treat us this way. We are citizens of this state. We work for this government. We supported this government. He made a promise when there was chaos in this state. He said he is for the youth. He is for the people of this state. Now, responding to the protesters, the head of civil service, George Wake, said the council employment process at the Ignatius Ajuri University of Education in the community due to intolerable irregularities will be revisited and the process restarted. This is as assured that a new governing council was now in place to oversee the process and ensure elimination of the irregularities that hampered the previous process. He said the management of the institution was directed based on their request to employ only 867 staff with 420 of such persons being academic staff, but regretted that the institution employed 1,900 persons with only 123 being academic staff, which was grossly unacceptable. There's a particular level that every person was supposed to be placed, and that was approval that His Excellency gave. Now, at the end of the day, they employed 1,000. 800 and something people, more, almost three times the number that was given to them to employ. And they brought all of you for biometrics. Now, when they brought the number of people now that were to be paroled, they brought less than that. I will give you people the figures and show you the names that were brought for us to parole. And when we are now looking at it, we saw that they have reduced every person to as if they were casual workers, which the governor said no. Meanwhile, when we also looked at it, the non-academic staff, we are now three times the academic staff. The academic staff that we are now brought for us to pay, we are less than 100 people. Please, is that a very fair representation? No. no. The other service also protesters to organize themselves properly so that it will be easy to interface with them when the employment process recommences because only qualified persons will now be employed within the stipulated number. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.